Bro, you and Bert, 36. On April 17th, social media superstar Jake Paul will move on from YouTubers and NBA players to face a real fight when he squares off with former Bellator and 1FC champion Ben Askren in an eight-round boxing match on Triller's Fight Club. Paul is out to prove that he should be taken seriously as a boxer, while Askren aims to show his opponent what it's like to be in the ring with a former MMA world champion. Let's break it down. <clears throat> uh, hey guys, I don't know if I can do this. Uh, seriously? Oh, no. All right. <clears throat> this is By the Numbers. <laughs> this is the fight game. You, you. This is the fight game. Yeah, I'll bully you around just like I'm going to bully you in the ring. Shut the f up. I would do a homicide on you if I wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jake Paul is 2 0 with two knockouts, a 100% finish rate. Oh, oh. But his opponents have a total combined record of 0 2. Zero percent. His, his opponents were so bad that he could have pretty much done anything he wanted to and won the fights. He's clocked in a total time of six minutes and 42 seconds inside of a boxing ring. I really haven't even gotten to show my boxing ability in my last two fights because they've both been like four minutes. By comparison, Askren has spent 221 minutes and 29 seconds competing in MMA. That's three hours, 41 minutes and 29 seconds, or 33 times longer than Paul has fought. I mean, I'm gonna take it serious, but what, the highest level of competition, no, not, not even close. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun with this. That's what I came for. Experience is certainly on the side of the retired mixed martial artist, but this isn't necessarily about experience. This is punching people in the face, and Jake Paul seems to be pretty okay with that. He needed only eight punches to stop Nate Robson. Lord have mercy! Do you know how many punches Asker landed in his first two UFC fights? Zero. This guy's striking is that of a grandma. If I put a grandma in against Jorge Masvidal, she would have lasted longer than this guy. Of Ben Askren's 19 MMA wins, 12 have come inside the distance, six by knockout and six by submission. That's a finishing rate of 63%. That's pretty impressive. But in boxing, there are no submissions. So that drops his rate to 31%. And do you know how many knockouts Askren has when both fighters are standing up? Zero. Yep, zero. All of Askren's finishes have come when his opponents were down courtesy of some ground and pound. Considering that boxing is fought standing up, the funky one will have to do something he has never done in his 12-year mixed martial arts career. But do you know a number we really care about? Social media reach. Askren has a respectable 411,000 Twitter followers and 825,000 on Instagram. He's not on TikTok, and he doesn't really do much on YouTube either. So that's a total of 1.2 million followers. That's not bad. As for Paul, well, he has 3.8 million Twitter followers, 14.7 million on Instagram, 12.5 million on TikTok, and 20.3 million subscribers on YouTube. That's a total combined social media reach of just over 51 million people, 42 and a half times more than his rival. Social media followers can't fight for you, but that's a whole lot of people who are ready to make a meme if you get knocked out. Yeah, there aren't a lot of numbers to crunch, but the only number that matters is one. Because one of these fighters will suffer their first loss inside of a boxing ring on April 17th. 